Maryland, Baltimore, 1.30 in the morning, from Monday, March 25th, 2024, Baltimore Bridge Collapse. A container ship crashed into the famous Francis Scott Key Bridge and in the American city of Baltimore, which led to its collapse. After the ship hit the support, the ship destroyed the bridge, which was more than 2.6 kilometers, 1.6 miles, long. Officials say the ship suffered a power problem and sent out a distress call moments before it crashed. The Singapore-flagged container ship Dali collided with a support column on the 47-year-old bridge at 5.30 Greenwich Mean Time on Monday, causing it to collapse. It had left the station in Port Breeze at around 1 in the morning, heading to the Sri Lankan capital, Colombo. The ship lost propulsion while leaving port. The crew then warned Maryland transportation officials of a potential collision. On the bridge, there were a number of vehicles, including one the size of a tractor trailer that fell into the water below. Six people were presumed dead after a ship collided with the bridge. U.S. Coast Guard, six people missing, presumed dead. Six people became missing and presumed dead. Boats and helicopters were part of a large-scale search and rescue effort searching for the six missing people. Two other people were pulled from the water, one of them in serious condition. The U.S. Coast Guard said the remaining missing men were presumed dead based on the temperature of the water they fell into and the length of time they had been there. Authorities said the men were part of a construction crew repairing potholes at the time of the bridge collapse. The Coast Guard said it had halted search operations and begun recovery efforts. The Baltimore Fire Department, the U.S. Coast Guard, and other agencies in Maryland participated in the rescue. Two people were rescued, one of whom was taken to a local trauma center in very serious condition. Air temperatures near the bridge reach about 3 degrees Celsius. However, the rescue teams worked with all their might. There were 23 people on board, including an all-Indian crew and two Baltimore locals working as sailors in the port, and no casualties were reported. Shipping giant Maersk said it had chartered the ship and was carrying its customers' goods. Our hearts are with all those affected, she said. There were no crew or personnel from Maersk on board the ship.